Okay, I'm doing this video to show transfer case operation. The transfer case is this whole housing that's bolted onto the back of the transmission. Uh, it's linked with a rear drive shaft and a front drive shaft. So fairly self-explanatory transfer cases are used in four wheel drive vehicles. And the main reason that we even have a transfer case is so we can change the direction of the power coming out of the transmission that would normally just go this way, okay? Without a transfer case, the drive shaft would just be on the transmission. And if the drive shaft was on the tail, the output shaft of the transmission, then the power would just go straight to the differential. But because we need to change the direction of the power to get power to the front differential, we have a transfer case. And the way we accomplish changing that the direction of that power is we have a large chain on a spur gear here transmitting um, force to this spur gear that's turning a shaft, which is the output shaft for the front differential. And that's primarily what the transfer case is there for. So right now uh, the vehicle is in four wheel drive and this transfer case is able to shift out of four wheel drive. Transfer cases have a couple settings. First is just called 2H, which is too high. Um, too high is a mode where you're just in two wheel drive. Like that. Okay, you can see the chain has stopped turning. The rear drive shaft is turning. We're in two wheel drive mode. Okay, we can shift it into another mode called 4H, which is four high. And that'll give us four wheel drive. So we can drive down the road in four wheel drive. We can get unstuck if we're stuck or whatever the case may be. Then we have another mode, which is 4L, which is 4L, which is four low. If you've just noticed, everything slowed down here quite a bit, okay? And the reason for that is this planetary gear set that's in here. Now, planetary gear sets are usually found in automatic transmissions, and that's how automatic transmissions get different gear ratios by manipulating this planetary gear set. Um, we're using this planetary gear set to get a gear ratio of two to one. So we've slowed this vehicle down in half by saying two to one, let's say that means that there's just a gear that's lower than your regular gear. Two high and four H are your high gear. Um, and then four L, low, is your low gear. And it slows your vehicle down by half. This allows you to use your truck to maybe, um, especially with this standard transmission and a clutch, to move a trailer around or uh, back it around in tight places or pull it out when it's stuck or pull someone else out when they're stuck without putting as much strain on your clutch over there because um, low ranges in a vehicle is just like when you're in first gear in your bike. It's easy to pedal and it goes slow, right? Um, you have to turn your pedals pretty fast to get going. Well, in low range, it's kind of the same way. You can rev your engine high to get high uh, horsepower and torque out of your engine, but get a slow, strong output from your vehicle. Okay, so I'll just shift out of four low now. If you look at that planetary gear set going into low, you can see it moves. Now I'm back in high, everything's spinning fast again. Transfer cases, um, modern transfer cases, housings are made out of aluminum and the oil level 
is the check plug for the oil is in this plug. You take that plug out of the transfer case and the oil should be level with that plug. This is the drain, don't confuse it with the check. <clears throat> so the oil level is about as high as the check plug, like there. The chain is submerged in that oil and throws the oil around, um, lubricating the rest of the transfer case. It's a fairly simple um, component on the vehicle. Because we have shafts that are rotating in housings, we have bearings that need to be in good shape, and then we'll have seals so the oil doesn't leak out. But transfer cases, for the main part, are fairly low maintenance. Make sure that you keep them topped up with oil, and if you get water into them by 4 by 4 and things like that, because they do have a vent here, okay? And that vent, if it took in some water, it would get into your transfer case. But other than that, they're pretty good. When they start to get worn out, um, the chain can get pretty loose. But let's remember that the chain's not even working when you're in two wheel drive mode, which most vehicles are in most of the time. If you spend a lot of time in four wheel drive and you off road and you pull in four wheel drive all the time, be expected to deal with more transfer case issues than the person that only uses it when they're stuck or the weather's bad. Hopefully that explained transfer case operation.